officers are assigned to keep the 26.2 mile marathon course secure and coming up later today on eyewitness news at five we are riding and flying alongside the nypd as they show us the massive undertaking to keep everyone safe on marathon sunday well turning to the election right now and we are now just days away from the election a new survey finding the needle remains right in the middle with both candidates for president remaining in a virtual tie in key battleground states abc's christian John Cordero has more from Washington. While campaigning in crucial Western battleground states last night, former President Trump fired up his supporters alongside ousted Fox News host Tucker Carlson by doubling down on dark rhetoric. Trump even seeming to threaten former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who has endorsed Vice President Harris. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained on her face. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington. Cheney responding by writing on social media, this is how dictators destroy free nations. They threaten those who speak against them with death. Also joining Trump on stage, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the independent candidate who dropped out of the race to back Trump. Kennedy, who during the height of the pandemic spread conspiracy theories around vaccines, gained Trump's support to oversee public health agencies which includes vaccines and women's health. He can do anything he wants. He wants to look at the vaccines. He wants at everything. Harris immediately fired back online, writing, no. As both campaigns court Latino voters, Harris's rally in Las Vegas was boosted by superstars Jennifer Lopez and Mexican rock band Mana. Harris vowed to work for all Americans, arguing Trump won't. Listen to what he's saying as his closing argument. It's all about hate and division. Jennifer talked about it. It's all about hate and division. And it's not just what he says. It's what he will do. In Reno, her speech was twice interrupted by pro-Palestinian protesters. She ignored the first one and addressed the second. You know what? Democracy can be complicated sometimes. It's okay. We're fighting for the right for people to be heard and not jailed because they speak their mind. Both candidates have pledged to prioritize bringing costs down on day one. Trump yesterday vowed to create a new cabinet position focused on reducing the cost of living. He didn't offer any details on how that would work or how it would fight inflation. In Washington, Christian Cordero, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And be sure to join Eyewitness News this Monday at 2 o'clock p.m. for our Vote to a 2024 special as we are break we are going to break down the key races and discuss the impact election nights will have in our area. Also still to come on Eyewitness News at noon, the search for a gunman who shot and wounded two teens during the height of trick-or-treating last night on the Upper West Side. And important commuter alert for people who use the Path Hoboken Station, the work being planned now that could affect your travels next year. And in Sunday's marathon, meet a group of athletes who are running in solidarity for the return of the Israeli hostages taken in the October 7th terrorist attack. In the morning routine, wake up with eyewitness news this morning. Breaking news and headlines to start your day. The accurate forecast to know what to wear. Traffic and trends and alerts to get you there on time. Eyewitness news this morning. Monday on Channel 7 and wherever you